Hello, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth. The time is now 1230 on this Tuesday morning. We do remain weather aware as we move into the uh, next 12 hours as we still are going to watch a, a batch of thunderstorms capable of producing some strong damaging winds and a brief tornado cannot be ruled out. We've had, had scattered rain throughout most of the evening, mainly in the Mississippi and lower Alabama. Some stronger thunderstorms rolling through Clark County and Washington County are producing some brief wind gusts, but they remain below severe limits. Right now, we're also watching the main line of thunderstorms that has actually still prompted a brief tornado warning here south of Laurel. That line extends all the way down into Louisiana here, and so we will maintain a threat of severe weather through the rest of the night. As these storms roll in from the west, the overall environment will likely not be as conducive for severe weather. Still could see a damaging wind gust or two, and a quick spin-up tornado cannot be ruled out, but things are looking a little bit better through the first half of the day tomorrow. There will be some heavy downpours and some frequent lightning with some storms. We will carry a low end severe weather threat into Northwest Florida after 7 a.m. But our models are continuing to suggest that this will wrap up perhaps now around maybe 11 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock to noon. And then the cold front continues to swir move on through. Winds will change direction and cooler air begins to work in through the afternoon and then into the evening as well, setting us up for what will be a chilly couple of days, including for Thanksgiving. For the next 8 to 12 hours, though, we could see a few thunderstorms that could train. And what that means is we could see a localized flood threat develop. Most areas will see 1 to 2 inches of rain out of this. But if we get training thunderstorms, you could get a little bit more, maybe exceeding 3 inches over the next uh, 8 again to 12 hours. So something to watch. So bottom line, we are still in severe weather mode here as a, no active watches are in place and just that one morning near Laurel, but we could get isolated severe weather now through noon. Damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and a brief tornado. Those would be the main issues regarding this severe weather threat tonight. So as we always say in these situations, you'll want to have multiple ways to receive weather information. The WKRG weather app is a good option, your weather radio as well. We'll continue to keep you updated on, on air and online as well. We have a live uh, web story going on on WKRG.com. If we get any changes, including updates to watches and warnings, we'll be sure to pass those along to you. Rest easy tonight. We'll keep you updated every step of the way.